don't know what I am launching. This is the first one that I'm taking myself. It's mine. It looks very nice. See now, but this is your ID. You can move around. And I would like us to move to Botswana. President and I already agreed that we must from now on use IDs instead of passports. So that's mine. The new ID cards come with improved security features such as the replacement of the fingerprint system by a quick response code and the barcode will be replaced by a machine readable zone. The quick response codes and the machine readable zones have proven impossible to forge as countries such as Botswana, South Africa and Mauritius have adopted the same features for their identity documents. They will also be used in scanning machines similar to the ones used for e-passports. With these new features, we can engage neighboring countries to consider using the ID cards as travel documents. The ID cards are compatible with the specifications of the International Civil Aviation Organization. The world is moving towards electronic innovation. I am happy to say that Africa is also moving with the world. The current IDs will remain in use and will be phased out gradually. People applying for duplicates of the current ID cards will instead receive the new card without any cost. The benefits will be a ripple effect for other industries. Financial crimes will reduce. Social grants will be issued only to those who are verified to be alive. Ghost employees will be a thing of the past. Banks, insurance companies, and other financial institutions will operate with ease because financial fraud will be minimized. The biometric system will replace the outdated fingerprint system which requires paper and the ink another unnecessary cost. About 82% of eligible Namibians are in possession of identity documents, according to the Namibia Statistics Agency's Intercensal Demographic Survey conducted five years ago. Blanche Corres' NBC News.